hello viewers so welcome to my youtube channel today uh, i'm going to install and set up the lk stack in my kubernetes cluster so let's start so before you start um uh, we can summarize what we'll going what we'll actually do so at first we'll install the elastic search and elastic search is for indexing analyzing the data logs and it also it's also used for searching purpose and then file bit file bit is uh, used for collecting your logs from your applications that can be in microservices or monolithic and because we are uh, actually deploying it to kubernetes so we will uh, we'll talk about more microservice space applications so yeah it will collect your logs from your microservices and then it will send it to logstash so logstash will actually uh, ingest transform and then send the logs to elasticsearch and finally uh, you can see your logs and uh, you can uh, actually analyze then search anything from your logs uh, in Kibana dashboard Kibana is actually used for visualizing and showing your logs um, so that you can actually uh, access your logs uh, and yeah it's the UI part so let's start uh, at first we'll install Elasticsearch so, so we need to create persistent volumes so in this Elasticsearch there will be three nodes that's why we need to create three persistent volumes so let's create it so i need to go to the elastic search folder trust oh i'm in already elastic search so we can apply the persistent volumes yeah it's being created it's created already so we can we can actually install the elastic search it's a helm values so we need to check if everything is okay not uh this extra init containers will be used for the permissions it will give the file permissions Mm, and this is the volume claim templates that will be used for persistent volume claim and this is the resource this is the memory heap of your java applications because elastic search is uh, made with java so yeah we need to declare the extra vm heap and yeah so we can just install it we have a documentation here uh, i will actually add the link of my github repo in this video description you can just follow this uh installation process and yeah you are good to go so let's add the helm repo here yeah it's already there so i'm gonna install the elastic search okay so i need to actually fix it Mm, 
Mm. Yeah, this will be. All right. So we can check it. It's just starting the pots. And it will take some time. So I'm gonna fix this. Uh, yeah so it's being started but it's not fully running because it's not ready yet mm, as you know there are some starting process in Elasticsearch so okay. yeah it will take some so time it's running to actually and uh, start we will check it again yeah, it's running fine, no problem. Uh, and uh, we can now install the file with. So let's create the file with volume. We need to go to the file with folder. can check it okay so this is the file bit config file bit will collect the logs from microservices and it will send it to the log stash so this one is for custom volume flame okay so let's install the file bit yeah it's done let's check So it's being started and it will also take some time. So we can actually install Logstash. We need to log get the Logstash first and volumes. To save my resource, I will actually 
keep it one gigabyte here but it's only for test purpose but for production you need to actually create more volumes so let's just apply this one and this is the log stash yml here we can see the elastic search host and this is the deployment and this is the service so let's get it okay it's done and this service is for http service another http service if you want to expose your extra service uh, then you can use it so we don't need it and this one is in case we don't want to actually expose the log stash uh, right now but if you want to expose it you can actually uh, expose it by ingest but it's not recommended as we are actually maintaining the best security practice so we will not expose anything publicly uh, we will just expose the kibana and uh, that's why we have kibana ingest so yeah let's actually install the kibana so i will actually install it using helm so go to kibana folder and install it and also i'm going to apply the kibana in here okay so let's check let's check again and yeah uh, the log stash is running why are it running kibana running and uh, also elasticsearch is running so we can test our application before that as you know the nginx ingress uh, it's it can be used as an internal load balancer so we are not uh, using any external load balancer here uh, because it's just for demo purpose so we we are exposing the public ip of our engine scene gets internal controller but it's not recommended uh, it's recommended to use the external ip as private ip and then you can expose it with your external load balancer so yeah it's just for demo purpose just to show how to install and actually play with the elk stack in communities so that's why um I have exposed it so let's check uh, yeah it's an IP is this one so need to set up a host here Uh, 
I'm going to add the ELK. Host name. That's actually Kibana host name. ELK demo cluster dot com. Okay. Um then let's see what happens. Yellgate cluster dot com. Yeah it's coming so it's just starting uh, just explore my own yeah you can see here this one is for enterprise search this one is for your observability this one is for security this is for analytics but uh, here we will just want to show the logs so just go to the logs and we need to actually create an index here there are many index there so we will create the index uh, we need to check the index that will about file bit so yeah in the index management we can see the log stash is here it's already created here are this index lifecycle policies So this is index pattern. So here, this one is log stash. So I'm going to here. I'm going to get the log stash, and yeah, just click on the get index pattern. So it has been created. not be shown because we are not using fire builds to send the logs to directly elastic search rather we are using log stash so elastic search is getting the logs from the log stash so that's why we need to check the logs from here discover and you can see there is the log stash index that we created and yeah you can actually uh search anything like i have searched the nginx one so you can get all of the logs from your microservices and your nginx pod to show your searches here you can actually find the agent name so it's actually coming from the file reads and you can see others logs that have nginx keyword and you can literally search share anything you want anything you want you can search here there are tons of keyword you can also search here the deployment name like uh, if i type prometheus you should get the prometheus yeah 
you are getting the prometheus one so if you expand it you will know where it's coming from so that would come from file bit and then it's sent to log stash and also the date time and then the container image name and also the current is node name here uh, the log file path path and yeah lots of things you can analyze uh, with this elastic search so yeah uh, this is the high level overview of setting up elastic search uh, log stash kibana file bit in your Kubernetes cluster so yeah from you can actually easily set up the yelka stack and yeah uh, i know uh, at first it's uh, difficult to uh, set up this yelka stack in Kubernetes because there are lots of step uh, there are lots lots of step actually and um uh, yeah at uh, uh, the first time it will be difficult to understand the low like uh where the log is uh from where the logs are being collected and where the logs are going where, where the logs are being actually processed uh, uh yeah so you uh, as i have described the actually the exact flow so you can now understand and you can set it up yeah thanks for your time to see this video and i hope you have enjoyed it and i think you will get benefits by um, actually applying my tutorial i have tried to actually made it easy so yeah that's it for now see you soon in the next video and please uh, subscribe to my channel hit the bell icon and share with your friends yeah take care goodbye